Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is October the 7th, still it is, 2022. I do owe you a little explanation about this, because when it comes to Italy, I think I have written down today here about the Italy. I did post the news about um, Bud Spencer and... Uh, His great partner Terence Hill. Okay, these are two Italians, uh, real Italians. Italians is a possibly could be Italian. Uh, there was really some heavy stupidity involved in MK Ultra. I'm not gonna get into it. I did mention here, I would love to say, as for how many Italians were involved in my case, 10, 20, 100,000, I think some 10,000, not going to go and change this probably, when I say 10,000, when I say 10,000, well, now, let it stay at this number. I was going to write one more zero right next to it. The reason I have is that, uh, uh, look at this map, um, and um, this is here Krupe Hans, you see Krupe Hans, it's not going to be any good this stuff. What can I tell you? These people were involved in MK Ultra case since 1995. Since 1995, but they were not here. You know where this is? This is in Italy. This is near Brescia. I think. Yeah, it's not. Group the Hans. Da -da 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 -dum. Oh, that's close to Milano. Uh, it says uh, Vignano, whatever it is. Well, these are actually Swiss people, this group of Hans, you know. They were not here in 95, but the guy who purchased this, I remember him, the German guy. Um, he is, I think, from Switzerland. He purchased this sometimes, I think, he threw the money on a table in 2004, I think. This house, all this stuff, all this, this I should know, if I would get into this street, who the hell knows, I would maybe be able to pull the information out for entire street. Milano, Rome, Napoli, almost house next to house, sure, factory next to factory. So that's why I said 10,000 people sounds like a lot, but not when it comes to my case. Then maybe that's not so many. Just Italy alone, huh? It's just for Italy alone, that's what I'm saying. How I got to that Krupe Hans? This is about something else. You see, this is this organization known as Lautari. Yeah, Lautari. Of course, this is going to be more proofs about MK Ultra. There is a audio recording here that I'm going to present you with. This was uh, obtained uh, about exactly 10 days ago. This was obtained on I think it's September the 27th, 2022. Oh, let's see this stuff here. Bim, 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 bam, bam, modified, yeah. Okay, this is how my computer works.
uh, it was obtained on September. Just the only thing you do is you look at the earliest date. It says modified. Okay, so we go by modified. Uh, September the 27th, I, I got this audio, 2022, yeah. So let me see something here. You see here it says Brescia, La Unità Locali, Roma, Pordenone. All right, this is going to be a video about Bella Italia. I hope, ladies and gentlemen, I don't insult you, whatever. I, uh, I'm a humorous person and, well, the guy I met was a really nice guy and uh, both guys are really nice. Italian guy was involved in this case since sometimes in well in uh yeah, no, 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 2003 you know 2003 in 2005 he already got himself in a trouble that's a quite an interesting story about this man and i was thinking he's older because he gave he gave me uh impression that he is older and under mk ultra i was under impression that he's older and that's what led him to mistake um, my mistaking him for somebody else partially and then it all kicked the memory it all kicked to the right place yeah so there is a postal office here in the city of the Novo Mesto which it should have been here Oh, there you go. That's a postal office. And uh, on September the 7, 27, 2022. So September the 27, 2022. I take a date and time. We met. We met each. Uh, we met each other again. Today's date. We met each other again at this occasion. Yeah, he was here already before on the MK Ultra. Uh, they brought me to visit guy here with his Slovenian partner. So it's going to be an audio about both guys. It's going to be about two guys, not only one. If I zoom myself out here. I'm going to demonstrate you. Slovenian guy is from... Santa Lucia tonight. La 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 la. Hope the YouTube is not gonna go and place mark on my channel because I am trying to destroy a beautiful song. Okay, this is where the Slovenian guy is from. This is a Slovenian shoreline. Uh, if you don't like direction to the Novo Mesto city, I'm just doing this because there's no freaking way. That's 185 kilometers from here is a Novo Mesto city. Uh, have we met each other in real life? But other than that, yes, we did, and in Lucia and also in italy where he immigrated in a little bit i'm going to explain everything his grandmother is actually of italian origins you know she is of italian origins and uh i have no idea we have a really really a government in slovenia which have really nothing to do with the natives this government in slovenia has everything to do but with the natives this is the government that somehow believes is gonna pull one more time this thing here on the picture uh it's a government that acts on behalf of belgrade and 
in my case this is not gonna go through i will never ever give any green light for this that's just not gonna happen because i remember all too well what this greater serbian chetnik state was all about so so long about this stuff here let's go back to the case Lautari uh, I'm not sure if the two guys mentioned me anything I don't know what Lautari is I remember una ragazza bella italiana policiotta a police bait this is Ordenone right these people here poliziotti italiani they were involved in my case of course since 1995 right but in this case particular this Pordenone since 1997 right here I was not interested in business this kind of business all I wanted under MK Ultra were a beautiful ragazze women babes um whichever country i came this is basically what i expected i considered mk ultra case to be illegal uh criminal violation of the human rights and so since there was nothing i possibly could do about it i felt that uh, i have the right to serve my own expectations I, just as simple as this and because they involved before this officially even started in the US Serbs and Russians in the case for the great of for the sake of this uh, ethnic cleansing in ex republics of so-called Yugoslavia I was not a happy customer and I say this because I really really have to say this today I evaluated, you know, I evaluated this uh, Italian daughters of Bud Spencer, you know. The two were interested in me, I understand, according to MK Ultra, that's what the claim was. And I actually have even a tendency to believe this, that it was other also beautiful Italian ladies. And I was not interested in this. And so I know that I really was crazy okay they have driven me so insane that um i i don't know that if the girl was just not blonde or whatever blonde it was enough that she painted the hair yeah it was exactly it was enough that she painted the hair uh i'm, I'm never gonna forget the I'm never going to forget this babe from the U.S. Uh, that she was involved in MK Ultra, and and I was like, no, 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 no. Then what she did was a really simple trick. I'm not going to find that right now. Okay she just painted her hair that was blonde and uh, i was all over her and it was a lot a lot of laughter too uh, that's all she did she just painted the hair and that was she became uh interesting to me under mk ultra so my personality under mk ultra was um, according to some people it was a trouble too not only was different but according to this guy here um he had a hard time with the whole thing then you know terence i did some uh, italian stuff today so brought a lot of memories back 
anyhow um italian people very emotional very um They easily can be misguided. They can easily see things as like this or like that. Uh, very emotional, very emotional. Uh, good people, but very, very emotional. Very, very emotional. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm a little bit Italian. Maybe sometimes. I, I started with this building here. This is the old building in Pordenone. What can I tell you? Uh, they closed this building down. This is where they used to have these guys. I was totally, totally not interested in, you know. Uh, the MK Ultra case started in 1995. Uh, before I even immigrated to the U.S. Before I, since I started to work on a overseas cruise liner on celebrity meridian was any other cruise liner then i settled in miami and for 11 and a half consecutive years while i would not exit the united states of america i was ungoingly hijacked abducted from my bed married to south american uh, indian origins indian lady how <laughs> really a, a black hair you bet uh, indian almost like in amazona you know lady didn't have a problem with uh but my personality was different on that mk ultra and i started to get uh more and more different because of this bs that went on uh, and consequently got myself in a really trouble even greater trouble than what it should be i didn't get myself in a trouble they got me in a trouble this here, this is the old, I had an idea like, uh, what is this here, Anni di Carcere, Two Bestia, this was like a prison, you know, for the people like this, you know, and so they brought me here, by the way, since 95 in Italy, wherever they brought me to Italy, I was everywhere, in the factories, meeting people, in, you know, politicians, so all kinds of stuff, and I'll find myself here in this place and this this is what what the hell is this shit this is prison right well they they were talking to me about uh, they started to talk to me about some people right um drogadito this and that taking drugs and uh, offender and this and that and i was like um i'm gonna use a bad word right now i was like what the fuck i got to do with this i mean and then they started to talk to me about the drugs and stuff like this and drug poor people taking drugs um social problem this and that and i was like um i'm gonna use again bad word excuse me i was like fuck that what do i have to do with this stuff i mean am i here now a social worker under mk ultra what do you think i'm gonna be what is this all about you know uh there were people like jeff bezos on a page sure there were people like peter Thiel. there was a whole bunch of people Elon Musk that were grabbing a lot of money and I was a senior to all of them including Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos I was told started about the same time I did it's not true I was before him on a picture and I didn't get shit the only thing I got was trouble more than what possibly I could handle that's what I didn't think that was a mistake but yeah more than I possibly could handle so I didn't like what my recipe to these people here the police was just go and get yourself uh, lifting weights you know go to the gym and uh, do the fucking gym every day exercise build your muscles you know what I mean that kind of stuff go to work save the money and that's it and that's basically not what I was doing in the US but I did manage to save a really substantial amounts of money just by work. Uh, regardless of MK Ultra torture, I failed physically at one point, gaining about maybe from 70 kilos I got when I entered US. Uh, my weight 
went all the way up to a hundred maybe even 105 I don't know uh, and then I got really pissed off because of all the problems they were creating me and the weight went again down to 70 okay and so I didn't get any of this stuff here you know I my recipe to them was like watch more Arnold Schwarzenegger um, watch more Bud Spencer and Terrence Hill you know uh, go and uh, basically do stuff like this just give me a piece basically this was it when they got one Italian babe and it was a really good one um, yeah I was like I felt like that I shouldn't be anywhere in the picture next to these guys uh, even though they were poliziotti I felt like uh, I felt like man you know these guys, I was like, they got a few of them, not only one, but that one was really good. But the thing was like, I figured out, man, it was, it was about the money a lot, but it was about money everywhere. But this was Italy, and I was thinking about, hum, I was thinking about what what the hell is going on here with this, with this stuff. So I didn't want to be on a picture. I didn't want to be on a picture anywhere. This police cars, this stuff, that, uh it was uh, more than not it was a disaster you know my recipe to a classic uh drug addict which they entered in mk ultra scenario was just i don't know nothing other than what i stated i didn't want to understand any of this shit i was like i don't want to know about this stuff just fucking throw the drug away don't use it that's it you know to me like it was like about something that I was not interested in. You know, here is uh, a drugs. We got this kind of problem, drugs, you know. So I was like, watch out. I'm under MK Ultra. I'm drugged up. Do I really want to learn about the problems with the drugs? What got on my head also was that these people tried to uh, brainwash me and make me drugs maybe appealing or something like this. This was a scary shit. This was a scary moment for me when they started with this kind of stuff. In 97 at this facility here, everybody inside, outside, everybody I should identify if I would go there. <laughs> um, to me, this stuff was scary, man. It scared the shit out of me. The shit out of me. I didn't want to, I was like, uh, you know, first... It was about the money. It was about all this stuff. The money never realized. Uh, I ended up in Bosnia driving with a Slovenian truck driver. Uh, they delivered weapon over there and stuff that was extremely lucrative shipment of weapon. Uh, weapons. I never got money. I risk life. Freaking bombs flying around. Uh, and I never got a fucking dime. How people were buying themselves uh, and cars. Uh, and houses and businesses and I don't know what the fuck and here you're talking to me about already about something completely different now we are now in the world of drugs so this stuff here to me this was no more noble stuff I wouldn't want to have anything to do with it and so I kind of lost touch with a community uh, with Italian state I would say now what exactly do I think about this problem like the same thing like about the blondes basically uh, from the perspective of not being drugged up therefore from the perspective of not being on that MK Ultra but this is a very very important issue to deal with I think this is this kind of a problematic uh, of the drug users should be one of the main uh, priorities of uh, entire European Union concerning Italy. I think that Italy is coping with a tremendously giant problem. Uh, and if this experiment uh, would become successfully treated, I think it would give the answer to every country in the world, in the globe. I think there would be a whole a lot of lives saved. 
and man, this is basically what I am up to. I, I like uh, helping people. So, finding a way for these people to instead pursue something that should be of their interest uh, and basically avoid having to do with uh, drugs would be really really awesome uh, or maybe help them out of this uh, terrible situation it should be a really big thing and the same thing I'm talking to you about much deeper in a much deeper sense uh, it was this guy here that was that that became uh, motivated uh, very few people know him but this is the man who is extremely recognized in the world of drug addicts in Italy that is, that's a Pope Francis that's right this guy here this one here yeah he couldn't understand me man uh, that's a good person a really good person it's a person you do want to meet when you are in trouble so then it's got to be a good person you know uh, but if you're not in trouble and you don't want to get in trouble this guy here is gonna get you in trouble no matter what okay so this I say this a little bit humorous funny but it's true okay I will not forget the day I will not forget the day no I will not forget the day when I was uh, when I found myself in this location here uh, near Pordenone if I take this one here Unita Locale Pordenone and I go like this boom and we do boom boom I will not forget the day okay it was sometimes in um, 2015 and it was Signore Cosimo and there were two other guys uh, two other senior friends uh, that were guiding me in this street every time they would bring me to this location okay let's go to the map one more time so that 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 I zoom myself out of this location here in Europe that's quite far from obviously city where I am but yeah towards Slovenia anyways but that's Italy right there northern part of Italy and I'm sorry man I didn't want to hurt their feelings but they were so happy yeah you know we got him he's here he's here and I was like okay I was like in 2010 when I came here you know I knew about this project the project is gonna come up and uh, the only thing I still pursued was uh, some Italian ragazza you know some some woman you know somewhere uh, something that would uh, make my life more bearable under MK Ultra, you know that kind of stuff you know whatever it was anything like this would help you know <laughs> this kind of shit about you know, let's say about who lives inside of this house nobody would want to see you by the way um, unless you would come there and then probably would be different anyways I hope I will um, or I don't know let's say when was this raised up and you know, who lives there and so on uh, man I was like uh, I was like really excuse me I'm gonna use bad language right now again I was like fuck you and fuck you and fuck you this is three gentlemen okay it was nice to see you again now fuck off please and what do you think that happened it was a complaint uh, Yo, he doesn't want to see us anymore he doesn't want this anymore you don't understand you don't understand and then it was aha uh -huh, you don't want this anymore aha uh -huh, okay get me the other guy 
the other guy, now you handle it. Now you see what will happen. Now you, you, la, 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 la. Okay, that, that's a Pope Francis, God of my balls. Listen, I didn't know. I, I swear to God, I did not know. Um, the thing is, the Francis knew better what I needed than what I did on that MK Ultra. In a certain way, he really did, you know. When it comes to this MK Ultra, he wanted to help me out, and uh, um, then the only thing that happened was uh, it was a telephone call to Ljubljana, Ljubljana, and uh, it was this guy here that answered the phone call. This one here. This one. You know, <laughs> yeah, this guy here. This this guy here. This is a Yugo Udba guy. This guy here. This is Milan Kuchan, basically, this guy here. You know, Milan Kuchan. I spoke to you a lot about this man. Uh, like a Vladimir Putin guy. Um, this, this, this is who answered the phone. You know? Haha, <laughs> so, Pope Francis really knew who to contact. Yeah? This, this here, this, this. This is who answered the phone, and before you know, before you know, before you know, it was this garbage here that you see. This is a psychiatrist from Novo Mesto that immediately appeared at this very location here, and then it was a fucking dementia. Then I didn't want to have absolutely nothing to do with it. Then, then, then I think I started the guerrilla war here, warfare. Uh, whichever way I possibly could find to do whatever I would could uh, it was not nice all right it was just not nice not nice of me not nice of them um, problem for me problem for them yeah but you know otherwise this place here you know otherwise when it comes to Pope Francis I was here way before Pope Francis. Pope Francis would come here. I have no idea why. I think that Pope Francis is very, very Italiano. You know, Pope Francis piace Italia molto, molto. You know, he loves Italy. Really, he does. I think he, he loves Italy more than... Uh, I think he loves Italy more than uh, Italians do. Pericolo di ane anegamento, whatever that is. And it says here, no fishing, no pesca, no here, no, 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 no. That's what he says. Ah, oh, you're going to say, Sebastian, no, you are insane. Eh? Yes, I am. This here used to be where Pope Francis would take me sometimes to. You know, this house here. It was sold this house and the day it was sold i was quite cursed out actually i think it was sold nuns used to live here you know nuns nuna let me demonstrate you the sister the, the sister of mercy oh maybe yeah maybe the sister of mercy sisters of mercy oh no 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 we don't mean this. This is better here, so we don't complicate, you know? And so it was, what have you done, Sebastian? What have you done? In a hundred lives, God will never forgive you. Na, 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 in that sense, yeah? Now, who was involved here? I think everybody from City Pordenona. This is a big city, like I told you, this 10,000, you know. Uh, I think, I don't know. I got to be very careful with this when I said that noons here, that they used to live here. There's no information about this on the map, for one thing. But I think I'm pretty damn sure what I told you. This place here was probably sold, I estimate. Dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. I would say to the... Uh, you know, I say 2015. Yeah, 
you know, 2015 knowns purchased before before this idiot popped up. Talking about the Udba people here from Ljubljana. They didn't even know anything about it. They wanted to teach me about this stuff, but they didn't know. They smelled everything, whatever. You know what I became? I became literally a window. A window to the world through the eyes of the persecuted individual for the sake of Serbian Yugochetnik Udba people. This is what I became. That's why, you see, that's why I wasn't happy about all that stuff, you know? He had no fucking clue about this, but I do. This canal here, this, the canal, you know, questo, questo canale, qui, guarda. The canal here was built sometimes in, I don't know what Anya was. You know, they were doing work here, like extensive work. Uh, not, canal always was here. The canal always was here, but I don't know what they had done. Uh, it appeared completely different. It was a security officer that was my friend. Uh, who was this security officer? Who the hell was this guy? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about actually that Maybe it was working from here someplace or something like this. All these people were involved. Oh, it was a security officer guy. Uh, appeared to me like old and myself or... Uh, there is some business here that they have, yeah? So, uh, I, I think that this guy was actually, I don't know, uh, in this... Uh, what is this? Guard shock or this or whatever that is, I think. Yeah, I think this was the guy, you know? And so it was year. Now let me think about. Let me let me let me really go thoroughly about. Let me ah. Let me throw the dice on, and I'm gonna give you. So you're talking about before Pope Francis ever made it. So you're talking about probably here. Yeah, I'll give you like a 2006. You know, 2006. It smells like 2005. 2005. Yeah. Yeah, 2005, 2006, I tell you what, I go with 2005, okay? So what exactly was done here, this place? Yeah. I really do not know. I hope it was not only this bridge here. Uh, I think actually there was some extensive... Um, Maybe, maybe this bridge, I don't know what they have done, okay? Uh, they cut the grass, whatever it was, it was really, really presentable. To me, however, when I have a view on this stuff here, it almost feels to me like they laid these uh, plates here. You see these plates that go to the water down like this, at the canal like this? Did they lay down or something like this? But it was not. It can't be. This This canal probably is built on this whole thing, but it was a tremendous it was a big work i don't know what it was here along the canal uh so and this gate looks old i really don't know but there was like extensive extensive stuff that went on here in this area here in 2004 even i would say 2004 2003 i would even go into the year 2003 so you see this is way before pope francis appeared anywhere this all this area was involved all through pope francis sometimes would appear in the picture you know who used to come here well you you know donald trump you know businesses are here located throughout the Italy, he would go and smell those businesses, British royals and so on. But uh, in this area here, not so much really. Sometimes, I think it was 2010. Uh -huh, let me see that. 
fruity bio. Aha, uh -huh, very nice. You see fruity bio. Oh, very good. Oh, what do you see here? Fruits, right? Yes, yes. I would make the point out of this anyways. Because basically what I'm having at... Uh, this is the location that Pope Francis told me that he's got something for me. Actually, it was somebody else maybe. No, I, I don't know. It was a Pope Francis, and that was somebody else. He always had a lot of helpers, uh, people, you know. And uh, oh, they brought me here, and I was like, I, I was like, man, you know, this was a Pope Francis, definitely, because he wouldn't go for no reason here. You know? I was like, what, you know, what, what am I here for in 2010? you know and i had no idea what what they want for me you know i didn't want to be here i wanted to be next to some ladies and the italians did place me into scenarios next to ladies but not with the ladies whatever uh sneaky and so what do you think that was so huh? well in a little bit i'm gonna demonstrate you Right in the back of that property, there is actually exactly the people that I mentioned to you have met me. Uh, and it's almost kind of invisible to the bare eye, but it's here, you see? It almost looks like nothing here, you know, like it's nothing, you know? Uh, but that's just not the case, man. If we go zoom out like this, and it says here, Coupe di Solidarità Lautari, and it says right next to it, it says Fraternità Franciscana di Betania. Fraternità Brotherhood, Franciscan Brotherhood of, uh, I don't know what it means, Betania, right? Uh, this is the first location I demonstrated you where the car was parked. And when I told you well, you cannot see almost anything, that's this place here. It's it says here Coupe de Solidarité Lautari Okay. You will not see anything from this pictures. Uh, you have to go this is really really impressive this stuff here yeah well uh, let me see something else here yeah 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 uh, I didn't do this very well you know uh, here this is how the property is yeah uh, and uh, Pope Francis had a tremendously good time with me too he likes to tease and stuff is a humorous person he knew that I'm a humorous person too. No. So there you go. Uh, by the way, I did remove a lot of posts about the Pope Francis. So I hope now everything should be just good. Okay, this here, this uh, property here, Coupe di Solidarità Lautari CCRL, is not the only property. This is what got to me. This is what confused me. I think that all this is their property here, actually. That it goes like this, you know. All this. I think it's uh, actually something like this. Yeah. All this. Like this. Actually, we're going to do it like this. I have no idea. I have no freaking idea, you know. To me, this is so freaking confusing. Um, all I remember is because I cannot see this stuff. I cannot see this stuff. You know, it's difficult for me to see you, right? All I remember is you step right across the plot, you know, and voila, there you are. Uh, it's a Franciscani, you know, uh, brothers, like church. And on the other side, you have these guys that are trying to do to get away from the drugs. So, 
I'm seeing this here is a parking and that's a little bit uh, strange to me but then again there is no way you would see this stuff Yeah, there is a possibility that all this, with exception of where it says here, Fraternita Fra Francescana di Betania, that it belongs to them. All this stuff here. Because this is like a community for the people that are trying to get rid of drug addiction. And before, when I mentioned to you about the fruity, bio fruit and stuff like this, let me say that these guys... Uh, they take care of these farmers around here. They go out there and they help the farmers on the field. Actually, Cosimo, Mr. Cosimo, told me, he said to me, he told me, he said, he told me, Andrem Kiotra, he said to me, if you want to make some money, whatever, and then you can also go and you can help uh, here, the neighbors, the farmers, you know, because these are farms. And you have them out and they pay when they need workers for the harvestry and stuff uh, work on the field uh, then guys girls that are here to rehabilitate themselves this is a way from the Pordenone uh, I don't know from the city of the Pordenone a few kilometers right so it's like a uh, it's out on a fresh air they had a lot of problem opening this and it was really it was a year sometimes in in 2012 it was in 2012 when with the Pope Francis um, na -na, with the Pope Francis we had it uh, to this place and I, I had no idea where, what what is going on here where we go and it was everything was fresh it was done clean nice um, you know, so when I look at that stuff I I don't know but it was a quite a impressive view and everything was new and stuff and uh, and uh, Pope Francis was crazy excited yes now we got this done and it's gonna be this and it's gonna be that well it was Cosimo was uh, was there already Cosimo nah? Um, I don't know if Cosimo was already there. Uh, probably back then was still Cosimo was still not. Cosimo was already in a big trouble by then. Uh, but I think it was in the old building in Pordenone, still in the center of the city, you know. Uh, still in that other building, yeah. Um, but. There was a new chance, new life that was coming out. Uh, and it really was a Pope Francis. Yeah, Pope, just that you know, I removed this stuff today from my new site. Just because you present hope, like you told me, in these people who have a problem with the drugs. So just so that you know why. Okay, and try to be nice, try to be good. And so, yeah, you see, now I have an upper hand. Uh, and so, well, this is how this center that opened, uh, that's basically how it all started. So you got several of these uh, centers, one is in Rome, and so on and so forth. Uh, yes, of course, I was in Rome too, I was all over the place, and met also people uh, that had problems with the drugs uh, in my quest to find uh, beautiful Italian lady, whatever. Um, what can I tell you? That's a that's a quite a story, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the audio recording. Uh, what I can tell you is Pope Francis, during his visitations to to locations, to such locations, what what he does is he he stays with well let me be a little bit more detailed about that stuff yeah so if i wouldn't be inside in there it's not what i would know but i remember everything inside the rooms 
everything how it looks like yeah so um the rooms the room the room is like the room where his partner uh this is like a well like uh, i think like on an upper floor and um uh, um if you would go you know well it all depends on the hallway you know that's true whichever way you would probably i don't know you go up the stairs and then you would turn right and then you would enter the room the room for pretty much the rooms the rooms are bright you know the rooms are bright uh the room the rooms are bright the rooms the rooms are the room is kind of a yellow inside and don't give me no impression as if there will be new rooms or something like that so i didn't get the impression that they were new uh and the beds the beds are not with i have not seen in in his room like upper bunk or something like this like in a hostel uh but just uh, down you know one bed here another bed here down um uh, maybe even four beds in the room individually however down so that's what the room would be like yeah so uh cosimo because of his seniority i understand got his own room sometimes in uh oh okay so that was uh let's say nine before i went to fall on 19 no, no 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 maybe 2017 i don't know that's maybe after like five years but i remember him walking to farmers and back and forth with his friends and so on uh which i hope all i'm gonna still meet you one day and uh you know they have uh they have this kitchen you know uh big ass kitchen and the dining area they go and they socialize uh eat together they basically keep busy all in all i would rate this as very positive experience for the people like this especially with the blessings of pope francis uh i definitely hope all the best for the people that are participating in this you know in this in this uh it's a form of life it's a form of way it's a it's a way of life you know um how can i say it's a it's a it's in my view it's a trouble less of a trouble to get down with the drugs than what it is when you go back to uh, to the city i think this is where you go back to the city i think this is where the biggest problem is and so i think that this these are these are in a way uh, a certain uh, like in a form of maybe experiment it would be for me because you know i was you're gonna hear me i, I asked the guy about what about the ragazza italiana it would be maybe good to to give some uh you know marriages there together and give the people opportunity to also stay there for good basically get them some sort of uh employment in the area and uh actually the two people that that have experienced this kind of problem probably do have a much better understanding uh, of what uh, life presents as a challenge you know so i think that giving abilities you know to 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 advance a little bit more in this uh uh in this through this social circus uh circles would be pretty good idea probably that would be my suggestion that they they maybe they would give chance people to develop more uh than just to get to know each other and get rid of uh get clean because you know or maybe not i don't know maybe the two minds like this uh can wander away faster or, you know this is very very relative i i'm not an expert i never did any of this stuff so i just hope all the best for the people that that are in, in rome and in brescia and in in pordenone and so on the people that experience this type of problem um what else can i tell you oh 
Cosimo, Cosimo was a, a typical guy, like everybody else involved in this MK Ultra, except that Cosimo, uh, Cosimo, a young Cosimo, <laughs> a young Cosimo was just, uh, you know, uh, like so many other young people that I met. You know, young Cosimo was just a guy that um, wanted to get wealthy. Um, and he figured out the way to get wealthy fast. Um, he got a beautiful woman, you know, because he, he's got a really beautiful babe. Uh, he was making a money, um, electrician by profession. It didn't come to me immediately when we spoke because I mistaken him for somebody else too. Uh, and so uh, I think he started with electri electrical business sometimes in 2003. Uh, it was really, really strange to me, this guy, because this guy did not work for anybody, it appeared to me. He had boss, so he had like sort of... Uh, he was like a sort of subcontractor you know he would get like it would be like a guy in area that would it would be like a dealer like a job dealer like a job agency or something like this and probably this is how it works in italy you know he 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 goes like cosimo hello yes uh and he only gives you address da -da 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 -da. and then the next day cosimo and myself found uh found ourselves in a in a whatever location uh and uh this was no fucking way for me i wanted my work my job in in the u.s i was brought from the u.s literally traffic hijacked uh and to the cosimo this was the money it was like no fucking way man you got to stay here you got to stick with me you got to be around here and i'm gonna teach you and tell you this and that you're going to be my partner in this and that. And I was like, fuck, man. I was like, partner in what, man? What are we going to do, man? Uh, luckily, gladly, I acknowledged that he was making money. If I possibly could help him out to make more money, I would. I would do anything I possibly could. But what the fuck? I'm not going to spend my life under MK Ultra drug tub over there going from one place to another so he gets better and better contracts. This was with some guys that were like more advanced. They could do stuff like this and make money with it. But this kind of MK Ultra had a bad, bad, bad uh, holes. This was like a contract with a devil, man. Think about it. On one side, I was who needed the same thing. Uh, and Cosimo wanted the family. This is a very, very legitimate, normal good-hearted individual is Cosimo uh, but I wanted the same for myself and uh, Harry Potter never existed but a book about my ordeals everybody involved in MK Ultra had ability chance to read to get to know it seems like it was actually desired and when you got into my world of uh, MK Ultra boy, it was nothing like it in the world. Nothing good. Nothing good. Uh, just uh, before you would read that book, basically get to know me, you easily could go crazy with me. Because when I didn't want to be on the picture anymore, trust me, the best for you would not to have me around not because i would do something to you because i would be dangerous in a physical or something sense but i could do a harm i'm gonna say challenge you mentally uh to degree that that you would and end up uh basically Listen, harming yourself, I say this even that I was literally pushed from the rocks on my way to Gorianzi when I was drugged up. 
under MK Ultra, maybe on two occasions. The ladies couldn't fucking handle anymore. Uh, and as jerked up as it was, pushed me down the rocks. They came all covered with the blood, with the ambulance vehicle transported to the hospital and stuff like this. It was all kinds of shit. The thing about it is that I didn't feel pain. I would only feel pain if you would alert me and I would start to pay attention to it. Fuck, it was a Roma guy one time that they couldn't believe that I was drugged up because I mentally challenged them so much. And so he punched me as much as he possibly could in the stomach and stuff like this. This shit happened. And uh, I, I had no fucking idea. <laughs> you know, I, I grabbed myself or whatever, but do you think I cared? I didn't care anything. I was uh, senseless to the physical pain, completely. I was completely senseless to the physical pain. Uh, unless I knew I'm taking a chance uh, so that I would have to, I would know that I'm dealing actually with the pain, such issues, or that I'm going to deal with the pain, or if you alerted me. Otherwise, you know, like, like, cold like a stone i didn't care simple as this and really if you got on my nerve that was a bad news because then i would get on your nerve uh like hell like nothing in the world ever did to you and then if you could not handle the pressure you failed the examination what exactly that means is that you had a chance to make extraordinary money like Cosimo did but if you fail the examination they started to fuck with your job they started to fuck with uh, uh, with whatever they figure out uh, they could fuck with in your life and the money was gone in Cosimo a problem with the drugs evolved he got more than one lady he got one lady and he got because of because he traveled another lady here another lady there uh, the money became late to appear in work and uh, it was one thing that led into another he got himself in more and more problematic world the girl he was with I think eventually she separated already in 2008. The two had a big crisis. The relationship, uh, just about exactly what I stated, started to go apart in 2008, 2009, I don't know, 2010. The relationship was over. Luckily in 2013, this place pops up and uh, he finds himself in there and he did really well since I think he has gone through hell in just few years he learned more about life than uh, most of the people probably do throughout the entire life probably um, became much more responsible and understood that I was not just a toy understood that when I was right there in the corner looking at him and this beautiful ladies whichever he was with uh, he became very loyal to one girl he stayed loyal to that girl and he was with that girl uh, but uh, she also had a problems and so on and so forth and it appears that the whole thing have uh, fall apart. Well, look at me, I'm almost 51, I'm going to be in December. And so I am just going to tell you that just as I started the video at the beginning, I don't want to know about something about something that you don't want to know you will not know okay that's when it comes to drugs drugs are extra 
I personally don't want to know about. It's simple as that. People drink alcohol. The thing is, alcohol is extra. I don't want to know about. And it's not healthy, whatever. But it's just an extra I don't want to know about. Um, I, I got to admit that few times I did taste it alcohol. Then I was just pure out of something. In my world, this is just, you see what I'm doing right now. This is not, every time when I do this stuff, I change the eating habits. I change the sleeping habits because... Every time I do something I'm doing right now, I'm throwing myself into the uh, into the hellhole. It's not pleasant to know that you're gonna throw yourself in a fucking hellhole again, basically, and hear nothing, no echo in return, and so on. So this is not really a healthy lifestyle, you can imagine. So what I want to do is I want to thank first Cosimo, my Italian friend. And I would like to thank also a Slovenian guy from Lucia uh, for, a, for appearing again here in Novo Mesto and giving me a chance uh, for me to identify the two. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say. I would also thank to the people of the Novo Mesto who participated in this. There were also people in Novo Mesto who welcomed Cosimo. Uh, and Slovenian guy from Lucia uh, treated them humanely and that's what I want to do that's what exactly what I what I went after immediately that day when I saw them I wanted to treat them as a guest with a respect with a dignity welcome them make them feel here just like our fee our people who go to Italy or Germany or whatever country uh, are treated with respect, welcome, especially with the welcome because of this politic that we have in Ljubljana. I don't like this idea that somebody comes here uncomfortable. You see, I'm not like Ukrainians that I teach that independence is a form of mental non-slavery you know it's like your right on your land to greet somebody to welcome somebody that the stereotyping inside of your society have created as completely unwelcome undesired reject no um, you understand me uh, your land, when Russian doesn't meddle, doesn't jump into your right to exercise freedom with whoever you want, basically. Your right to communicate, to establish social, uh, I should say economical, and if you like, social uh, marital whatever relationship with whoever that's the idea about European Union it's more than just the trait about ideas and economy this is a market of people basically creating relationship establishing friendship more wherever uh, helping assisting one another exercising freedom basically the right to be to exist and so I'm pursuing what I deemed Slovenia decided to become with its independence in 1991. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Nothing illegal. So I say thank you for coming to Novo Mesto. I welcome you here and I hope I'm going to see you again. Now let's go to the audio recording for me to prove uh, basically that I did manage to identify the two. And the two managed to identify me they did some there were some little thing that they did that i can use as a proof that the two also identified me so that's all your recording we're gonna go to this here um this is a long 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 audio recording this thing here 
uh, on this audio recording I have identified another gentleman and lady here also uh, that I met a little earlier uh, that's what it looks like and then there is another one that involves my neighbor Hench when I returned back from the city that's a uh, Juponchich right across the street but the excerpt about meeting with a Cosimo and his Slovenian friend you can hear from this recording here and I'm gonna well, I'm just gonna play this one more time because I think that makes sense yeah so let's go very difficult yeah very difficult uh, very difficult to understand and okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna put this underneath this recording is approved okay so that if you want to analyze this whatever you are you have ability to analyze and get exactly what I'm stating to you right now is I'm gonna finish this play this one more time and I'm gonna put the audio recording underneath so that you can hear this conversation between us very difficult to hear for me I have headphones in my ears and it's not easy thing to do let's go so we say hello hello I see this man over there he's standing over there he's very familiar to me I see him uh, and what I do is I say hello to him and I kind of notice this Italian dialect you know he speaks Slovenian but I kind of notice this Italian dialect and I want to really make him comfortable He says, he, he, lets, he says to me very kindly, he says, good day, uh, good day to you, uh, against the drugs, he says in Slovenia, proti drogi. He speaks very good Slovenian, I don't know, he said that he doesn't speak Slovenian, he speaks very good. We are from the community uh, against the drugs and we sign the signatures. However, these signatures did came with what should be a contribution, some form of contribution, financial contribution, which I have excused myself at this point as a jobless person, as a person in financial needs myself. Uh, but he says, don't worry, he said, you can just go and you can sign to me and it's really appreciated if you can do that, and which of course I gladly did. You can imagine how this Italian speaks very, very good Slovenian language, beautifully. He says this we we collect the signatures for, uh, in the name of the solidarity, uh, for the people who are drug addicts, who are uh, fighting with the drugs. We are a comuna. Um, oh, okay, comuna. Basically, what exactly that means? And I'm still very much paranoid. Okay, in respect to this, this stuff here, I don't want to be disconnected by the internet. Uh, remotely shut down, basically, from video recording, which have happened frequently whenever connected to the internet it's a bad stuff they promised me something like this under MK Ultra, and they do and that's what makes me then again and burn computer basically not movie because you know lose more time and you know already it's bad and now this okay so I got few beautiful pictures here that you get an idea what is this comuna uh, this is a beautiful picture here uh, contro la droga la metti una firma contro la droga il caso della cooperative lauteri wild italy it's not wild it's good uh, I like this oh there you go that's precisely what uh, I had witnessed the other day 
with this um, with these two guys. So this is this is this is. Uh, I don't know, uh, did I, uh, Cosi Cosimo, no, I, I don't know how to write down a Cosimo in Italian way, maybe he is even on the internet somewhere, huh? I'm gonna find you, my friend, uh, this, this is very social setting, basically, they have, they also have girls and stuff, uh, and it's very positive. I think it's a very positive experience. I think it's very good. Of course, I was here. Comunità La Utari. Okay, Comunità Lautari. So, this here, this is, this is, uh, this is basically what that looks like. They associate together. Um, well, we're going to see this picture a little bit bigger. Okay, the, you can see the pool running and stuff like this, so... And it's exactly what I stated to you, right? So, I, there was a couple also that participated um, in this, MK Ultra, my friends, which I think returned to the city, I think. They were one of the first here in 2012-2013, I remember 2015, and I don't know. Maybe 2016 or whatever, they went to the city 2017. Yeah, there's a lot of people I should know here. Put peace za solidarnost proti against the drugs, the use of drugs to help, basically, is what he said very nice in Slovenian language, yeah? I love his Slovenian, by the way. The way he pronounces and everything, I love it. Beautiful. Uh, I, I swear to you, ladies and gentlemen, this makes me feel almost like the guy is from my neighbor or something like born here native here in slovenia completely his his uh, slovenian skills or language skills are completely completely immaculate <laughs> He is very supportive when I say I don't have, uh, unfortunately, I excuse myself, you know, I, I excuse myself, I tell him I'm sorry, but I'm a uh, uh, I'm 
on the job market search and uh, I need job myself I'm sorry I cannot afford he says to me Drugic is no problem next time when we see each other so I sign that stuff and I go to the postal office I do what he tells me and I go to the postal office wish them a good day I enter the postal office then I enter then I exit the postal office again Okay, uh, once I exit the postal office, there were some guys, Slovenian guys also over there, who they wanted also the signatures. They wanted the signatures to help elderly people, to give them choice also to basically of home care at home. Uh, some people that just prefer not to go inside of the home for elderly people, if they can manage, if they get help home. Uh, and it's it's it, it covers uh, their needs why not to help people uh, to, to stay independent as long as uh, people can be independent and then there is some other issues also and they demanded for me to go actually they asked me to notarize this notarize it, but basically going to the local uh, administration unit where they also signed me in my presence or I demonstrate them IDs and everything, say the issue IDs that I'm the one, I'm a person, I authorize this signature and so on. So they're collecting other signatures uh, involving other social issues. And then I, as I return back, that's what I go and I identify. I say to myself, you know, these guys, they look so familiar to me. I know these guys. So I tell the two uh, and before I tell the two I don't know if you have managed, uh, if you speak Slovenian and understand this, uh, but it appears to me that uh, a Cosimo already comes to me and says to me, yes, uh, where did we met each other before? You know, Cosimo alone, the Italian guy comes to me and says, well, did we met each other before and I'm still talking to uh, to Slovenian guys and as soon as I'm done talking to the two I go and I speak uh, to these guys uh, from Italy okay so let's you hear this say and that's what I say goodbye to Slovenian guys I give them the, that paperwork and I go and I talk with Italian guys who by the way I think that he was already referring to me I think and I say you know I, I recall the two of you I recall the two of you and uh, I think Slovenian guy says yeah we do know each other from somewhere Italy, a back potential for the 
and I tell them, you know what I tell them, the two of you, uh, the two of you are there already since 2014, but I gotta be very careful with this. Uh, I tell to Slovenian guy, you are here, you are there since 2015, but the other guy is there since 2014. Uh, Dieci anni means 10 years. Dieci anni. Dieci. Uh, not good for Italian guy I say 2014 and for the uh, Slovenian guy 2015 very 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 good yeah, very good, but not good enough. Not good enough for one year. Okay, uh, I did, I did actually really good, okay, it's like this, the first thing I do, I say to Italian guy, you started at that place 2014, and he started in 2015, 10 years, he tells me Italian guy, 10 years, 10 years, since now is 2022, the year would be 2012. So this is pretty impressive for me basically to go out there and tell the Italian guy, hey, by the way, you're working in this place already for no less than eight years. And I made a mistake because he's there already for 10 years. And I say to Slovenian guy, by the way, and you, are working there for already since 2015 that's a seven years so now he's gonna go and he's gonna say no he's gonna say eight years yeah so with the Slovenian guy I made a mistake one year but I properly point out that Italian guy was already there and it was Slovenian guy who joined him and when it comes to Italian guy I point out eight years and he corrects me, he tells me ten years. So you can say that this absolutely means I have identified the two, both of them. I remember you. I have a Ferrari, a Ferrari. In this case, it's so far as you can see. You can see uh, just a moment, just a moment. That's actually better. It's actually not the end of it. I have also pointed out that the guy, the Slovenian guy, is from Koper. I was sure that they had office already in Italy, and I was thinking that they opened uh, also office in 2014 here in Slovenia, in Koper. Well, Copper, this is not where this guy is from, the Slovenian guy. Whoosh! 
Fushta, like somebody says. He is not from Copper, but he is from Lucia. So, you're gonna give me another credit of identifying two guys, one from Slovenia from completely other part of the uh, completely other part of the country where I am from and the other one from the Italy and pointing out almost exactly the dates of their employment for one guy missing just one year for the other one two years well from copper to lucia it takes about 19 minutes with a car it's exactly 15 kilometers the distance so you can say that slovenian guy i have identified one beyond any any doubts you can see where the city of the novo mesto is this is the city of the novo mesto here and as i pointed out earlier it takes about 190 kilometers to get to a location where the adriatic sea is where this guy is located therefore slovenian guy so this was again shot several bullets i fired without absolutely any mistake without absolutely any mistake now mistakes did appeared to me because my friend italian was on many different locations uh and uh, that's one thing uh, and with uh, i i wrote down the number ten thousand italian that was involved in it i'll tell you probably it goes to hundred thousand this whole italy was involved in my case so let's see how it all ended <laughs> So I, I really thank the two for coming. I really give them, thank them, wish them all my best. And um, I had, I rush away. They are happy I identify them and I'm actually on my way to father for a visit to father. Uh, now I come back. Yes, I have to play this too. Uh, I return and I make terrible problems, uh, mistakes. Uh, I mistaken Cosimo uh, what twists in my head on my way to father to the home for elderly people is more stuff. Like, who is this guy? Who was this guy before he came to this location? And so in my mind, I start to search. You see, it's a lot of data. I told you about the stuff we have never spoken about. The stuff I told you earlier. Uh, you could say it needs to be confirmed, whatever. But what I do is I have a tendency to go, man, as far as possible to beginning of the time because you know it's just something that i take a little pride in it uh so i come back i'm not satisfied i want more about this stuff uh, and i'm mistaken him for somebody else who really was in 98 uh, however this guy was from udine this was a factory uh just uh, one no second floor no floor above just like this at the ground 
uh, not very high and they were doing my kind of profession they were doing mechanical stuff and that kind of stuff you know uh, so at that point still I didn't know precisely who this guy was the only thing I remembered is you know I remembered actually something a little bit too much that also was a trouble uh, but other than that uh, I remembered where they are coming from i remembered uh, what their place looks like but i wanted to know who these guys were before they joined there and so on and that's when i made a mistake uh i mistaken him for that he i pointed out that he's got a three-year education but not that he is electrician uh electricians and uh, maintenance mechanics people on uh production machines you know people that struznica or diari i don't even know how you say that raskalny stroy um oh, let me demonstrate to you they work in the same environment oftentimes in the same kind of factories and so on and it was the element he would go oftentimes to work at. Huh? This was basically the element he would go and perform the work. But it, it all depends on the customers, you know. Uh, you know, this kind of machine, that kind of stuff. Kovinar uh, straw long time ago it was not even a clean profession you know this kind of stuff uh, that's what you're talking about Schlossery. Oh. Ah, if I would go and I would say it was a blue building one store building a long building and that's what I discussed with him and he cuts me off. He says, no, 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 no. I did not. Da, 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 da. Uh, and uh, then I ask another question and we go apart. So that's all there is. Uh, I will go and I am going to play you the whole audio. However, I have to accent that from here on this here, this was a mistake. And I also entered into area that I should not. And that's why we had to say bye bye to each other. Uh, Cosimo was busy. He had a good, very good day that day. He collected quite some contributions. Uh, here, the people of Novo Mesto came and did contribute to his efforts. And uh, I'm just really, really glad and thankful also to the people from the Novo Mesto who came to give the efforts. Uh, to help to this guy to express their concern for the community uh, in Italy in which by the way you can see even Slovenian guy have found uh, his refuge assistance help whichever way I think that we need to help each other support one another and that's it so this part here which I'm gonna play you anyways because this is part of the deal Everything has got to be disclosed. Was incorrect. Let's just say incorrect. Uh, it pertains to the factory in Udine. Another guy. Vidim Udine, I think. Let me see this here quickly. And we're going to see this immediately. Yes, Udine would be the right place. And I don't have anything else in respect to, I would say, uh, to this stuff here. But when it comes to Italy, um, this is basically what you want me to tell you about Mr. Berlusconi or everything, uh, the background, uh, uh, home of Mr. Uh, Bud Spencer or Mr. Terence Hill, uh, maybe their wives, 
daughters uh, what do you want the information about what it looks like on inside what I can tell you about all that stuff yeah this is the stuff I can tell you about because I do know about this are people some Italian people uh, Schwarzenegger had his friend Franco that was one of the people involved talking about Italian 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 you know like Italian from Italy not born in the US right you understand me what I'm saying and it's nothing bad I don't mean nothing bad okay I don't mean nothing bad about it but Italian born in Italy that would not leave Italy for nothing in the world like a Bud Spencer let's say or like yeah, I got the problem with the name Terence Hill yeah. I'm not good with this Terence Hill yes Terence Mario Mario Girotti Terence Hill yeah okay yeah I better go I think before I'm gonna make more problems and say something stupid Franco Colombo yes well Franco Colombo passed away what and so on and so forth you know my condolences is the kind of news I don't like to hear and so on and so forth so what I'm gonna say my friends thanks for watching this program uh, thanks for staying with me I'm gonna play you obviously one more time this audio and then I'm gonna put the whole audio below so that you can have access to it but it's really pretty much what I stated it is you can bet on that and then we're gonna go to more uh, people I managed to identify yeah okay Ta -da. Oh, uh, just before, just before I end this stuff, okay? I'm gonna have to play this one more time. I'm gonna have to play this. I'm gonna have to basically play this one more time, okay? What I have not finished a little earlier about Pope Francis. Pope Francis. It's, it's a person that is like completely confident with social settings that also involve uh, people, such people as this, you know? Uh, therefore, people that are trying to get rid of drugs. Uh, however, he has, wherever he goes, he's got people. Also within this community, there is few of this... Um, uh, veterans uh, that they would die for Pope Francis uh, it's impossible for me not to accent uh, Pope Francis's involvement in this he you know that's why I did what I did I crossed out uh, a lot of posts today for Pope Francis you see we also give uh, like we say in Slovenian language at Pustik here at also times we also do that kind of stuff for the people like that but this postic means we are right off uh, sins, yes. Uh, so uh, he, uh, when he goes there, he was sleeping in a room uh, with other guys. He did not reserve the right to have a special room for himself, but he had the room. But like I said, he spent with the hawks, people that. I don't know if they slept the night he slept there they they take care of him he always has a people that uh, take care of him very very much about him they take a really good care of him okay that's it now I'm gone grazie e arrivederci
pista di gatto di danno, gatto ancora un fante vento lungo che con negro gira un vecchio, la scuola. Ma dove si vede? Non si vede, non dopo. Non si vede, non si vede, non si vede. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Podpisy je prosím, dojde jich to pomáhá. Nepíšte. Podpisy je zamorávání do kora na představení. Nula. Thank 
كان قادم انا قادم كان قادم هي قادم قادم لا برا انا periferia eh, periferia questo qui no, questo, questo, qui, è? questo qui è a Brescia a Brescia lago però, di Garda però, eh, ok si sì, si sì, si sì. ho capito però perché eh, comuna Air Center ah, ah, sì. ah, si sì, io mai sento yeah, yeah, Pordenone yeah, yeah. Central Center però, eh, Brescia però, Brescia. però amico Brescia. questo lui ma te sì, è lui, lui di Porto sì. Rosso però in Italia eh, noi aiutiamo ragazzi qua della Slovenia primero primero sì, primero sì. primero donde eh, stava a Brescia sono due case sì, sì, una sì, e due sì, sì. due case a Brescia poi ci sono ah. poi ci sono Presidente Como Pordenone e Roma e questo poi facciamo anche lo sport questo è quello che stiamo facendo noi ragazze italiane anche ragazze fanno ragazze anche sì anche loro ah ah per sì 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 per Mangiare carne di toro. Mangiare carne di toro. I'm still here. Mangiare carne di toro. That's what they give me in Italy. Mangiare carne di toro. What is this? Mangiare carne di, di, di toro. I think that's a beef meat. E Cosimo told me. You must eat a lot of beef meat for your problem, for your cancer problem. 
So this is how they identified me. The two, everybody with a book. Not of Harry Potter, but my taste knew about this cancer problem of mine. Very, very, very entire this place in uh, Pordenone. Everybody knows me over there. Everybody knew about my cancer problem. This cancer problem would come and go. They did something to me under MK Ultra to appear. They threw me back in the real time. No cancer. Since 1995, they started with this play with the cancer. Cosimo knew about it. He said, you must eat a lot of uh, carne di toro, a lot of beef meat. That's what they eat, a lot of beef meat on this place where he is at. And the Pope Francis, you must eat this kind of meat. And I was like, that never was my food. Cosimo had a girlfriend, blue-eyed beauty, <coughs> left him in 2008 because of drugs problems. He was the first one who wandered into a heavy drug problem. And it was another couple who participated. That was the, the two guys that used to live together. And they had fallen apart. Cosimo problem was much longer than what I anticipated. Cosimo problem lasted. His hell lasted about maybe five, six years before they built that institution. Terrible thing. Five years. And his friends from the same city, Pordenone, the couple that I have spoken about in the video, used to live together for about maybe five years inside of the apartment building until uh, this... Uh, I knew these guys in Pordenone, you know, uh, before I would get to know them. I knew them from work, where they worked, because every city I went, they, got, they involved young people. For me to be around with them, like MK Ultra staff members, and they also got into this world of drugs. It's basically not from the same circle with Cosimo, but they do know each other. Pordenone is a big city. That's all I wanted to say. Now let me continue to play you this audio. Yeah? She was a blue-eyed babe, this babe, and uh, I was completely crazy about her very beautiful Italian babe this is the worst thing that possibly could happen to you under MK Ultra that your girlfriend was attracted to me and I had no girl and you had girl bad stuff Questo Aha, smo bili pri vas. Ja. 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 Ja
Um, this was it. Uh, below, I am gonna probably post the audio too. Uh, again, thanks for coming to Novo Mesto. In 2007, already Cosimo was in a big, big, big dilemma with the drugs. Cosimo was the one that spent, uh, they told me, a few years on the street, like two years. Terrible, terrible, terrible situation. That's why he looks a little older. He was the one, they told me, who went through the worst. One of the guys who went through the worst. These things were bad stuff that happened. Again, the day today is October the 7th, 2022, and this was recorded on September the 27th of 2022, therefore 10 days ago. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.